What's going on guys, Matt here back with another video. Today we are going to be looking into some equipment to get you started in your sim racing journey ready for 2024. Uh, we're going to cover a so three different entry points, the budget entry, like a mid tier and also an expensive tier. So you've got three different sort of price points that you can go for. And we're just going to cover some equipment that will get you started within those points. Let's get into it. Right, so first up for the budget entry is going to be the wheel of choice. Now, the wheel of choice for me for any sort of entry level rig would be the Thrustmaster T300. Now, I know a lot of people will have other suggestions like the Logitech G920 or G29 or whatever equivalent Logitech is out at that time. In my opinion, they are not really worth going for um i would personally stick with the the t300 as the entry level wheel it's much better built internally than the logitech and will give you a lot better feel even straight out of the bat obviously if your budget doesn't really stretch to a t300 you can also look at a lower wheel like a a t150 or a tx from Frostmaster or even the logitech but that would be literally the the bottom line wheel that i would go for so as you can see, price new, straight from Thrustmaster, it's three hundred twenty nine ninety nine. You can, if you have a shop round, you can pick up a little cheaper. Make sure you get the one with the free pedal set, just because the pedals are built a little bit better, and there are a couple of little modifications you can do to this pedal to the brake, just to get a better feel from it as well. Um, if you do your research online, but as a as a starting point, this would be kind of the ideal setup. So if you didn't want to buy the wheel brand new, um, you can always have a look second hand. So obviously eBay is a good place to start, Facebook Marketplace, even Gumtree if you're in the UK. Second hand sim equipment holds its value very well. So if you were to buy second hand and you didn't get on with it, you could always sell it on for pretty much the same value that you brought it for. Trying to find it a good deal is quite hard nowadays. Everyone's kind of popped on to, uh, to how much their, their stuff is worth. But there are definitely bargains out there to be had right so now you're gonna need something to mount your wheel to now back in the old days everyone would have been mounted to desks but obviously this is 2023 and there's a lot more options out there for you if you don't want a full full frame setup this would be my go-to if i was still on a desk chair and wanted a, a sort of temporary solution that i could mount it to would be the gt omega classic steering wheel stand currently only 87.95 in the uk you have the option to split into three payments if you're struggling with budget. You're able to mount the, the wheel here, you can mount the pedals here, and you can put your the front wheels of your desk chair into this like little runner here. And what that does, it allows you to use your current desk chair like this to race at. This can slide under your desk. You haven't got to mount it to your desk. And then when you're done, you can just unhook your chair and hide it away. Now for only 80 quid, 88 pound, that is a fantastic option for a budget entry. Right, so now we get on to the, the mid-level entry point. I would personally go down and look at the Moza Racing equipment. There is a very good equivalent in the Fanatec bundles, but the Fanatec stuff being imported from the from Germany, I believe they come from. Um, obviously, coming into the UK, you have to pay all the customs fees and the VAT when it comes in now, thanks to Brexit. And they're also having a lot of problems, as far as I'm aware, with, with getting products shipped out and long lead times and stuff like that. Obviously, if you're looking secondhand, probably a better place if you want to go down the Fanatec route, but we can have a look at that in a second. So if we were buying brand new, my mid-tier range would be the Moza R5 bundle. Now this is a perfect little five newton meter direct drive base. Plenty of torque in there to get you started and to get you some, some good feeling within the car. It does come with a, a sort of desk clamp, but it also is, it does have screw holes underneath so you can like hard mount it. Comes with this lovely little wheel and a nice little two pedal set now if i was buying this i would also get this performance brake kit for an extra 30 pounds 
this basically turns your break kit or your break into a, a very similar load cell style pedal, which will give you much more distant feeling under braking and will help you improve your lap times. One good thing with Moser equipment is their software that comes with it. It allows you to dial in all your different settings. You can have a play about with it. You can change the colors that come up on, on your wheel. You can play about with how the buttons are laid out. You can just upgrade all of your firmware from literally one click of a button. Right, so looking at secondhand equipment, um, you can pick up some fantastic little bundles um, within well, Facebook and eBay. Um, so if we looked at this one, you get a Fanatec CSL Elite wheelbase plus this lovely Formula One rim and some load cell pedals and also this little seat, which obviously you probably wouldn't use if you then sort of this route. But all of that is for the measly sum of £500, which I think is a fantastic bargain. So another good deal would be this bundle that someone is selling. Um, so you are getting a CSL DD, which is their sort of entry level direct drive wheel, similar to the Moza R5, a boost kit that will take it up to eight newton meters. So it will take it must level the Moza R9 and also this CSL BMW steering wheel all for 500 pounds. Now, what you would need to do with this is obviously pick up a, a set of pedals to go with it, but Obviously, those can be found fairly cheap as well. You can pick up a set of load cell Fanatec pedals secondhand for about £100. So here we have a Moza R5 bundle we, we spoke about brand new. Um, see, this one is only down to £400. The value being held by, by secondhand SIM items is very, very good at the moment. You can save a little bit, but if you get kind of the right deal, you can save yourself a good chunk of money. But this sort of wheel, the R5, or kind of a secondhand Fanatec CSL DD would probably be my kind of go-to point for, for a mid-tier budget. Now you're going to need a proper setup for your new wheel in in this sort of budget. My go-to for, for this sort of area would probably be the GT Omega Art. It's not quite a fully fledged sim profile rig, but is a fantastic sort of entry entry level into a into a a permanent rig. Um it gives you plenty of adjustment. Go bring your seat forward and backwards um to get your feet lined up with the pedals. The part here where the wheelbase attached to um that can slide up and down to give yourself a, a better reach depending on your height. And you have multiple different options of seats to have you have this one, which is the RS6, which is their kind of entry level seat. The RS9, which is currently out of stock, which is slightly more a wider seat. The XLRS, which is a fantastic seat. And they have a new line of RS12 seats, which are made from fabric um, and are meant to be super, super comfortable. Um, I've not had one of these myself yet, but I've heard, only heard good things for these. And you can pick up one of these with the new seat. A three hundred and seventy-seven pound brand new. So if you wanted to pick yourself up a second-hand GT Omega rig, then there are some deals out there to be had. Um, this is a GT Omega Art with an RS nine plus a shift amount, which is a little bit extra. Um, it's obviously a little bit aware to it being a second-hand rig. Um, but as long as you don't mind that, you can get a, a fairly cheap price. This one's only two four nine. Um, if you were to buy this one, um. And with this seat, it's 350 brand new. So you're saving yourself like £100 there. Um, so just looking out for those good bargains. So now we come on to the top budget in this video. Um, so this will be for those of you who have quite a good bit of spare cash laying around. Want to put some money into investing into a nice, nice setup. Um, so this would be my sort of go to if I had a, a good budget for my rig. Um, I would definitely start with the Sim Magic Alpha Mini. Now this is a fantastic mini direct drive wheel. Um produces 10 newton meters of torque and is has a lot of Sim Magic wheels that are 
are built for this, but also allows a lot of third party wheels to be attached to it as well. Um, so kind of your options are limitless when it comes to your, your the wheel you want to use for this base. It's 685, which includes a quick release um, just to make it easier for connecting your wheel onto the base. The wheel I would pair with this would be the brand new Sim Magic GT Neo wheel. Um, this is a lovely looking wheel that is due to come out in 2024 from Sim Magic. Um, and it looks like it's built very, very well. Um, you've got plenty of different buttons you can map in. Uh, you've got four of these analog controllers, two of these little turn wheels, plus you have obviously the four paddles on the back, um, two clutch pedals, two gear shift pedals, the quick release as well. So there is plenty of options for you to map your buttons to for when you're racing. And this will provide such a premium feel and it will look fantastic as well. So when it comes to pedals, there is only one pedal set for me when it comes to getting started with this sort of budget. And for me, it would be the Hussingvelt Sprint pedals. Um, I actually own a set of these myself and they are fantastic. Um, they provide you with unbelievable feel. And obviously there's hundreds of reviews out there on YouTube, so I'm not gonna go too in depth into them, um, but you do have 64 kilo max braking force i believe this can be set anywhere between 30 to 64 and um, you can change obviously the height of the pedals um using these little kind of bolts here you can change the angle that the pedals sit at you can also change in the brake the the rubbers to allow, change how much travel there is in the pedal as well you can literally fully customize the brake pedal to give you the exact feel that you want now, one good thing with Hussingvelt is their smart control. Now, this is some third party software that you load up and you can play about with all of the throttle mappings, the brake pressure percentages on each kind of step within the brakes and also your clutch as well. So you can really dial your pedals in, to get them set up absolutely perfectly for you. So lastly, for this sort of setup, you're going to need a rig to mount everything to. Now, there are plenty of profile rigs that look like this from hundreds of different companies all across the world um, that you can go for. Um, I currently use a track racer rig, um, so that is what I'm going to propose to you to use. Um, so this one is the TR160. Now this is like the, the big boy of their rigs. So as you can see, it's built from massive parts of aluminium so it is unbelievably well reinforced and would not budge at all with your new pedals and your new wheel you can get all of this as it is with this pedal tray and also with this wheel mounter with no seat for 725 you can always get a seat a track racer or if you wanted to you could get a bucket seat or a car seat and also attach it to this rig depends on what you feel most comfortable in all right so there we have it that is my three tiers of entry into the sim racing world um i will leave links in the description down below for every product we've looked at today um if you have any recommendations that you think someone else might like drop it in the comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next video